Hey guys, you're watching Zuman and Ali, my name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Survival Island Hardcore Pirate. Why am I a pirate? <laughs> I've got some stuff, oh, well, I've hardly got anything in my inventory. In fact, we can put this hoe away for a start. We're not going to need that today. Um, I've got some sad news to start off with, and then I've got a bone to pick with you guys. In fact, sad news is when I've, I've just come on, and uh, I cannot hear the Mooshroom. You guys name the Mooshroom. I got loads of comments and we were going to call him Moozy. Moozy is a great name. <laughs> Just made me laugh when I read it. Moozy. But Moozy doesn't look like uh, she's here. She did, did, she's just... I can't hear her. I had a quick wander around. And she's, she's just not here. Unless she's in the water. Unless she's having a swim. But I think the problem was... Um, there's so much room here for her to walk about, and if passive mobs have a certain amount of room to walk about, they will despawn. If we had her in a fence, if we surrounded her with some fences and made her a pen, she wouldn't despawn. But I wanted to give her a little bit of freedom. I wanted to give her... She's not in the trees, is she? I don't think so, I can't hear her. I want to give her a bit of freedom, you know, so she can wander about. But, obviously, uh, she despawned. I extended the wheat farm. Just a little bit there, so we've got twice as much wheat that can that can grow. We've got another three there. I'll leave that there for now. In fact, uh, no, nah, we'll leave it there for now. Um, but also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna grab, jump in this boat. We're gonna sail over. I've got a bone to pick with you guys. I've got a bone to pick. None of you guys, not one person, not one person in the comments, seems to have uh, any trust in me. You are like, this series isn't gonna last very long. You're gonna die. Or, you're going to cheat because you're going to die too quick. I'm really excited because you're going to die. I'm not going to die. I will not die. I promise. Well, I can't promise that. <laughs> I will die eventually. But I don't want to die too quickly. <laughs> I'm going to try not to at least. Okay, so, um, I've got some new coordinates and stuff from the comments um, of episode 3, I think it is on. Uh, I've got some coordinates for a mine shaft from Dylan. Thank you very much for that. And I've got some coordinates for an underwater cave from Tipster. So thank you for that. And I've also got an underwater, uh, not an underwater, uh, some coordinates for a skeleton spawner from Chance. So thank you very much for that as well. All three of those will come in handy. We'll go and see all of those. I've got some hiccups. But today we're going to go to the um, mine shaft. And it's X106, which is... Uh, let me get straight. X106 is going to be that way. Let's turn around. Ooh, turn around. So it's on that way. And Z306. Is that that way? Yes. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be on that mushroom biome. And he says it's got a huge mine shaft, even with some spawners. And it's got melons, which is why we're going there, which is a great news. Um, it's a little mushroom island, which is good. So close you can see it from the main island. There's the coordinates. And Y30. Right, and we dig down to Y30 and then we'll be fairly close. Uh, stop, don't break the boat. It bounced, it's okay. Um, so yeah, the reason why we're going to the um, mine shaft. Let me dig down, let me dig down. Um, wait a minute. Z, uh, X108. One, 106, sorry. 106, lovely, it's on the island. 306, right here, right on this very block. Okay, so we're going to dig down two by two. So we don't kill ourselves. Just in case he's being mean and he's given us the coordinates to a giant lava pool right below us or something like that. <laughs> I don't think you guys would do that to me, would you? And hopefully he hasn't given me the coordinates to go directly on top of a uh, a poisonous spider spawner. That's something that we're going to have to really watch for is those poisonous spider spawners because um, they are deadly on any game, let alone on hardcore. Damn block glitch. That's so annoying. Um, TU15 is going to be long away. Uh, in fact, it might already be out by the time that I put this video out. I know it's just around the corner. Uh, if you guys don't know anything about TU15, it's nothing to get excited about. It's only a bug fix. They're not adding any new features. Uh, they're just fixing the stuff that shouldn't have been broken in the first place. Like the, this bug of not breaking the blocks when you break them. They, they appear back like this. It's so annoying. Um, so yeah, don't get excited about TU15. That's why I haven't really made any videos about it or, or bothered you guys with it. Um, 
But yeah, hopefully we're not on top of a, a poisonous spider spawner. That's something that I really, really do not want to um, to find out about. What was the other thing? Um, yes, the Nether. We're going to be going to the Nether very soon. I was going to do it this episode, but to be honest, guys, you've knocked my confidence a bit. <laughs> I don't trust myself in the Nether. We are going to be right here. It's going to be right here. There we go. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to fall down. Oh. I didn't mean to fall down like that. That was a bit dangerous. Okay. Oh, I hear a skeleton. I don't know what way to go first, guys. I never know. We just need to find a chest, really. Um, and some iron. We might collect up some iron. I can always come back here and just raid the place for resources, so uh, as long as we've got enough food to survive here. Um, but yeah, I was going to go to the nether today, but you guys were... You guys are like, you're not going to survive too long. And I... Whoa. And I really don't want to... Um, Test fate. Wow. Oh, lapis. We should take that because um, of the dyes. We need them for the dyes. I wondered what that was. It's just a cobblestone. Um, but we need to go to the nether because I want to get villagers. And uh, in fact, we're gonna. I'll take up all these um, rails as well off camera. I won't bore you with that. Um, but yeah, we need. We need to uh, go to the nether because I want to get villagers. And the only way to get villagers without having a village <laughs> on the map is to wait until a zombie villager is spawned, randomly spawned. Like, they spawn exactly the same as a normal zombie, but they're just uh, the shape of a villager. They're like a green villager. And uh, once they spawn, once one spawns, we can actually heal them with a golden apple, which we've got two of, and we can make some more. We've got enough apples, and we'll probably have to go and get some more gold soon. And some... Um, Aha, we shall take you. We shall take this gold while we're here. I'm not going to do that off camera because I probably won't find it again. Um, I can hear baby spider spawner. And a potion of healing. And that's very deep. We're going to cover that up. We can go down to that level in a bit. Um, yes, and a potion of healing. Uh, and you splash it. It has to be a splash potion of healing. You splash the villager with it. And he'll start shaking or something. And then you've got to give him the poison, the, um, got poison apple. Golden apple soon after that, and after a very short amount of time, he will actually heal into uh, a normal villager. So that's how you can get normal villagers without a village, uh, especially if you're on an old world with no villagers spawned or something like that. If you've got a very, very old world, um, and once we've got two villagers, so we only need two golden apples and two potions of healing, really, uh, we can then breed them like normal. How, how normal villagers breed, they're like working exactly the same way. Aha, here's a chest. Let's make sure there's nothing about. Come on, melon seeds. Melon seeds, thank God. Okay. Um, also, we need some cocoa beans. I think I might have meant... Ow. Wow, what a hit. Let me just get my sword. Let me just get my sword. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't kill me. Have we got any armor on? I took my helmet off. Put my helmet back on. How did that come off? I don't know how that came off. Um, what was I saying? It's gone. My mind's gone blank. Oh, yeah. Uh, <gasps> no stuff. Stuff to kill. Um, I stupidly, mind you, no, that's not really my fault, um, before we had the goal to make all the dyes, um, I used the, sorry, there's <laughs> mobs, I'm trying to concentrate, uh, I used the, uh, what do you call them, um, cocoa beans for cookies, which I have on me, which was a silly idea, but we did it. And we can't go back. Ow. How's my health? Health is good. Um, but obviously, there you... Spider Jockey! Hey, Spider Jockey! Uh, but obviously, we need them for the brown wool. Which is um, a little bit annoying. Another chest! Come on, cocoa beans! No diamond. Some more pumpkin seeds. Oh, well, diamond's okay, I suppose. Uh, is this a ravine? Yeah, it sort of looks like a ravine. I always... See Nope. Is that gold? That is gold, though. We should take the gold. For sure. Are we out of torches? Holy hell, that was like a stack of torches. Let's make some more. Um, oops, and there. What was I saying? I can't remember. I'm in one of those moods of just, like, making sure that I don't die. Because you guys don't trust me. If you guys were nice to me in the comments, I wouldn't have any problem. I would just be like, yeah, no, I'm not going to die. We'll go to the nether today. But <laughs> we're not going to go to another day. We should go another day. Uh, probably next episode. Because we need to go there anyway. I just need to go and collect some obsidian. 
Um, or to make it make it normally, we could collect obsidian here if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. In fact, I'm not even going to go down to that creeper because I have a bad feeling. And if you have a bad feeling, you shouldn't go anywhere near them. Let's organise this up. Why is my sword over there? Where are my torches? Oh, that's that other bug, isn't it? Oops. There we go. Wow, filling up the inventory quick as well. Uh, some more gold. We should tab you. Tab you. Nab you. Um, we could grab these for string. It's probably not a bad idea. Um, in fact, I'll probably raid this whole mine shaft uh, off camera. I'll just grab everything I can, uh, all resources and everything like that, because we want to use the string to make wool. Because obviously, uh, I wasn't going to make a bed, but then you guys actually said something uh, quite a good idea and said, "Well, why don't you make a bed to sleep away the night uh, when you don't want the night time?" And uh, I thought, you know what, that's probably a really good idea. Um, so we're going to do that. We are going to make a bed so we can just sleep away the night. But we also need the wool just for general. Uh, crafting, um, if we want to do some stuff with wool, if I wanted to put wool on my house somewhere, um, we can do then. Hello. No, um, poison spider spawner yet. Cross my fingers, touch wood. Knock, knock. Um, ooh. No, 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 no. No, die. <laughs> Kamikaze. Uh, eat. Whew. <sighs> no, go away. Let me heal, let me heal, let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. Let me heal. Now, around this corner here, I just saw was a very big open area. Now, apparently, I heard from someone oh, no, that if you light those up, there's a greater chance for slime to spawn in them. I'm not so sure about that. Um, I played Minecraft for a, uh, quite a long time, and I've never heard of that. I have heard of what some people call them. There's the poison spider spawn. I ain't going anywhere there. Um, but apparently, apparently, they do spawn slime more often if there's light there but I don't know I need to do some more research and do some more reading before I trust that still looking for chests really hello hello die uh, was that a chest nurse no, a zombie all these mobs <laughs> given enough time for all the mobs to spawn now just looking for chests there's a gold there's gold there we'll grab that I don't mind leaving eye and stuff like that ouch where was that from Oh, you're from there, huh? You're from there. Boop. Place block. Hey, place block. No. Oh dear, we've made a mess now. <laughs> I'll block that up in a minute. Uh, ouch. Oh my god. Alright, we should leave you. <laughs> Uh, more melon seeds. Oh, loads of bread. That's actually quite handy for us. That was a lot of bread. Ow. Lag and jump and everything. God, water. Sort this water out. Sort this water out because this is going to get become a problem otherwise. Uh. 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 Like that. Like that. Like that. Problem solved. Congratulations, me. Where are we? Well, how are we doing for time? Oh, are we running over? No, we're good. Whew. Ooh. I don't like running over time because that means I've got to cut parts out which I don't want to cut out. Hello, ground zombie. Hello, ground zombie. Okay. Let's make a way up if we need it. Nice big way up. Cla gra crab. Grab that arrow. Uh, it doesn't look like this is no longer the... Um, that is the surface, though. It doesn't look like that there's uh, any more mine shaft that way or, or chests or anything like that. There isn't anything that way. We'll grab this gold, though. We're getting quite a fair bit of gold out of this, which is nice. Uh, haven't seen any zombie villagers yet, luckily, because uh, we haven't got the stuff. Uh, but yeah, we need... That's what I was saying. We need to go to the um, nether to obviously get the um, uh, blaze rods for the brewing stand. That's what I was trying to get to eventually when I calm down. Hello. Not calm anymore. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. This way... Yeah, light this up. Oh, there's another. Is it? No, it's not another level. Yeah, can you? I'm not sure if you can even get cocoa beans from here. Um, ow! If you can't get cocoa beans from here, then it's not really a great loss. Um, it just means that we shall have to uh, um, find a dungeon. And you guys have sent me the coordinates for a skeleton spawner, which is great. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably have to go and visit that skeleton spawner. In the hope that uh, we get... Uh, uh, what, what way's home? I've searched that chest, guys. Um, 
if you've forgotten. Uh, uh, if we have no luck here. Have we been down here? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Ooh. 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 This is a huge mine shaft, isn't it? Massive. Very, very nice. Oh, well, if I light it all up now, and then I'm at least safe for when I'm collecting the resources off camera. In fact, I might continue to record even after the episode is finished, just in case something happens. <laughs> and, uh, I, 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 ah, eat! I hear an enderman. I hear an enderman. How are we going now, then? It doesn't, it looks like we've pretty much exhausted. Ah, no, there was a little bit this way with this spore. <laughs> Um, more torches. Do I do it? Do I risk it, guys? Do we risk? He's looking at me. He's trying to psych me out. That's a normal one. Uh, small gold. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we panicked there. Die. Thank you. Let's get this. Um. No, we don't. No, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Just put that there. And then we shall collect this gold. There we go. Now, what's the safest way to take this out now? Do it the same way as last time, do you think? It's not really the fastest way, though, is it? No, 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 Ouch. I haven't got any milk on me either. Um, need a safer way. We need a safer way. Let's put that there and that there like that. And then we're going to go there and there. There. And there. You still can't get me. And then we'll break this. Come on, break. Uh... In fact, I don't want that there. I want to put it back. 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 Sword. Why have I got my sword away? Come on. Come on. Come on. Break it. Okay. Solved. Problem solved. Let's get this sword out again. In case there was some more about hidden. I just want to check to see if there's any more chests this side before we um before we leave. Nothing. It was a dead end. Fantastic. Well, that's handy to know, isn't it? Well, that's a bit of a disappointment, really. There wasn't um well, it's not a disappointment. We just didn't get the um we got everything apart from the cocoa beans, which is uh something that oh, it's not quite finished. It's not it's not finished yet. Not quite anyway. It's going to be very close to being finished. In fact, there we go. <laughs> I think that's finished now. There, there, that way. Woo! Ouch! That scared the hell out of me. Don't scare me like that. Whoops! Scared me so much I went into third camp, third person. Yeah, it looks like uh, all ways have been have been ventured now, and uh, I have no idea where I started. We'll just have to. I'll just dig up somewhere. Oh, this is a dark spot. Aha! This is huge. Damn it! Dead end. Come on! If we can get, if we can, if there's one more chest down here, no, that would have really made the episode for me. Huh? Oh no, no, there's torches all around it. Oh, but this way's dark. No. Why is every way a dead end? And Jesus. Up here? No, we've been up here as well, haven't we? Been up here, Carl. No. Nope. Looks like we've got everything, guys. Okay then, well, I'm going to collect up this stuff and uh, we'll probably see in the next episode because I think we're out of time now. Yeah, we're pretty much out of time. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I didn't die, so ha. Na -na 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 -na. And uh, we should probably go be going to the nether next episode. Um, so yeah, see you then, guys. Bye!